In this video I'll show you how to make this exact fire and smoke simulation in Blender. Ok so let's start off by pressing Ctrl 5 to add 5 subdivisions to make it round. And then next we can go to Objects, Quick Effects and then Quick Smoke. Next we can scale up the domain which is the border of the simulation. So press S to scale and then G then set to grab it on the Z axis. Ok, and then we can go into the physics settings and then I'm going to increase the resolution of the simulation to make it more detailed, you can increase it even further later on if you have a powerful computer and then I'm going to enable adaptive domain which reduces the baking time for the simulation and then I'm also going to add some noise to the flame to make the flame look a bit more interesting and increase the opress factor to uh, make it look more detailed the next we can go into fire and I'm going to decrease the reaction speed which makes the flames larger and then next we need to select the inflow objects and since we want both smoke and fire we can set the flow type to fire plus smoke and then to increase the quality of the inflow I'm going to increase the number of sampling substeps to 3 and then in order to make the fire go higher up, I'm going to enable initial velocity, set the source to 10, and then set the set value to 10 as well. And now that we have everything set up, we can select the domain, and then go down to the cache settings, set the type to all, and is resumable, so that we can pause the baking, and you can press escape to pause the bake, I did it after 79 frames, just to see what it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and save the progress we have made so far. And then we can drag the top right corner of the window to add a new window. And then let's also turn the light into a sun and set the strength to around 5. Then you can press R twice to rotate the sun freely. Okay. And then next we can go into the shader editor and select the domain. And then press N, and then we can go in to the material. So uh, we're going to start off by adding a node called Add Shader. So Shift A, then Add Shader, and then also make sure to switch to Cycles. So set the render engine to Cycles and use a GPU if you have one, and then go into Render View so that we can see it as we edit the node tree. Okay. And then press Shift A. Then press Shift A and let's add an emission node for the flame. And then let's make it orange. And then we need to add an attribute node in order to separate the flames and the smoke. And it's very important that you type in flame in the name. And then connect factor to strength. And let's also add a math node in between to make the flame a bit more clear. So uh, add a math node and then multiply and then set the value to 5 for example. Ok so now we have the flame and in order to make it look better you can play around with the different settings, the multiplication node, the emission node, the density of the smoke and so on. Ok so I think this looks nice. And next you can press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to set the camera to the current point of view. Then I'm going to change the resolution to make the render square and then I'm going to press N go to view and then camera to view here's yeah, so something like this and then next I'm going to go into the render settings and decrease the number of samples to 50 which I think is enough for a smoke and fire render and that's how I set up a smoke and fire simulation in Blender and make sure to check out my channel for more simulation videos, I have made a bunch already and I plan to make more.